Martin T. McMahon was a Canadian-born soldier who rose through the ranks during the American Civil War. He was one of only 29 Canadians to receive the Medal of Honor. By the end of the war, he had earned the rank of Major General. He was one of 40,000 Canadians who fought in the war. Now his name and the names of other Canadians who served are etched into the country's only monument dedicated to the Civil War. I was just blown away. It's one of those untold stories in Canadian history. Jim Brownell is the president of the Lost Villages Historical Society in the township of South Stormont, about 15 kilometers west of Cornwall. Brownell didn't know that Canada had played a role in the war, let alone that he had family who fought in it. But that got me into researching, and lo and behold, didn't I find my grandchildren, Emma and Kate, that their five greats in front of grandfather fought in the uh, American Civil War. It's an authentic reproduction of what was used in the Civil War. He was approached by Bob McLaughlin of the Greys and Blues of Montreal, a Civil War reenactment group, who wanted to honor the volunteer soldiers. We discovered, especially with this location here in South Thormont and the township, that a number of people had, like myself, relatives, either Canadians or Americans, that were involved in the Civil War. And that was the hot button. When you have a major war going on next door to you, like here in Las Villages, you're about three kilometers from the border. Tensions were high between northern and southern states over matters such as slavery and states' rights. In 1861, America's deadliest war began. Abraham Lincoln was president of the U.S. at the time, and Jefferson Davis was the president of the Confederate States of America, which consisted of 11 southern states. So Canadians went down, some of them believed in the cause, some of them went for the, the, uh, the money, the excitement, and uh, they joined, either one side or the other. According to Bob McLaughlin, 36,000 Canadian soldiers fought for the Union, and 4,000 for the Confederates. We have 29 Medal of Honor winners, which is equivalent to the Canadian Victoria Cross. There's never been a three-year time frame where that prestigious medal was won by Canadians. The wall also lists the names of other notable Canadians like Anderson Ruffin Abbott, Canada's first black surgeon who took care of Lincoln while the president was on his deathbed, and soldiers like Sarah Emma Edmonds, who served in the war by disguising herself as a man. Earlier this year, many cities in the U.S. started to remove statues and monuments from the Confederate side. But McLaughlin's goal is for this memorial to honor both sides, including the 7,000 Canadians who died. So it was to recognize the Canadians, not condoning a war of any sort or shape, but just recognizing a gap in Canadian history. We had a purpose, and that purpose was to recognize a piece of our Canadian history, and that's exactly what we've done here at this site. Help TVO create a better world through the power of learning. Visit TVO.org and make a tax-deductible donation today.